Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you how to set up and configure your new POCO F6. First, click on the arrow to begin, then choose your language. You can also increase text size, or go back to default one, and press on next. Then choose your region, you can search for it. Then go to next, agree to terms and conditions. And now you can insert a SIM card. You can skip this step, but I'll show you how to do it. First, find your SIM, uh, SIM tray opener in your phone box, or if you can't find it, just use a needle, then find a SIM tray at the bottom of your POCO, insert the tray opener and push it until the tray pops open, take it out and now you can insert a SIM card here like that and insert your SIM tray back. After that press on check again. Now you can connect to Wi-Fi enter your password Next. Now wait for a few minutes to for, con for for your phone to configure. Now you can copy data from your old smartphone. Now you can copy data from your old smartphone or skip this step by pressing don't copy. And now you can log in into your Google account or skip it. I'll press on login. Enter your password. Agree to Google Terms of Service. Now wait for Google to log in. Got it. Scroll down and review your agreements. You can also disagree to any of those. Then press on accept. Choose your browser search engine. I'll choose Google Chrome, set as default, and search engine Google, set as default. Now you can set your screen lock, fingerprint, or face unlock. I'll show you how to set up screen lock and fingerprint. First, Set up your screen lock. I'll choose a pattern. Got it. Draw your unlock pattern. And draw it once again to confirm that you remember it. Now go to next. Got it. And now there is your fingerprint scanner. Tap on it a few times to configure a fingerprint to unlock your device. And 
then press on done. And if you're uh, going to get your child's device, uh, if this is your child's device, then you can press on continue. But if it's yours device, your device, press on press on leave and get reminder. <coughs> now you can adjust basic settings and press on next and adjust font settings to either default or license. I set it to default and default launcher. I'll leave it about up, up drawer. Wait for HyperOS to prepare my system. Set it complete, press on the arrow. And now the phone has been configured. And that's all for today, don't forget to like and subscribe, see you next time.